You may be seated. I'd like to invite our younger worshipers forward to hear Mr. Tim's kids message today. Okay, good morning, everybody. How are you today? All right, my name is Mr. Tim, and I do the children's messages here at 8 o'clock. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is start off with a little song. We like to sing in preschool. Yeah, after all these years, I'm still in preschool. Can you believe that? Yeah, so it goes like this. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, like the sun and the moon and fathers and pop pops and poppies and pappies and grandfathers and uncles the lord is good to me amen 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 all right you know what today is today is father's day right so we do we give thanks to god our heavenly father for our fathers on earth and grandfathers and uncles and any other male that provides care to us, right? We thank and, and love them. And I brought a picture. Here's my dad. Yeah, this is my dad. His name is Donald. This is a picture when he was younger. He's in the Air Force here. Yeah, in the Air Force during the Korean War. And uh, we have some Korean War veterans sitting right here in church this morning. Yeah, so my dad taught me some wonderful things, right? First, he taught me, hey, you got to love the Orioles. Who loves the Orioles? I know, yeah, I know, Ellie does, right? And I see pop back there with his Orioles shirt on, yeah. And my dad also taught me this. So this is an interesting thing. It says, oh, that's upside down. It's hard to read that way. Okay, can someone read that for me? What's that say? Start small, think big. Oh, and notice how Mr. Tim did that small and tiny little letters, right? And then think big, the big B-I-G. So what does that mean? Well, think about it, right? When you start uh, counting to 100, wait a minute, we don't start right at 100, do we? You have to start at 1, right? You start small. You have to go through 1 to get to 100. Yeah. Now, what does that have to do with today's church and the kingdom of God. Well, Jesus was teaching his friends this parable. A parable is like a story that he tried to teach them to understand the kingdom of God. And he said, well, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this mustard seed, right? Now, I couldn't find a mustard seed, but it is so tiny. If I had it in my hand, you could hardly see it. And if you plant the mustard seed, you think, oh, big deal. It's going to probably come out and be a tiny plant, right? Yeah, start small. It's going, not going to think big. It's going to stay small. Uh-uh. The mustard seed is a mighty, mighty seed because it sprouts into this beautiful plant in the garden, one of the largest plants that you can have in the garden and provides shade and nesting for birds. So God was telling us, wait a second, mm, what does that mean? Well, again, it means that we plant the seeds. Yeah. When we tell people about Jesus, that's like us taking that little mustard seed and planting it in their heart. When we tell them about Jesus, how he loves them, 
how he forgives them their sins, how he died on the cross, how he rose from the dead. When we do all those things, we're planting that little mustard seed in someone's heart. Maybe it's your smile. Yeah. Maybe it's when you're kind to someone. You help someone. All those things. When we do those things, it's like us taking a little tiny mustard seed and we plant that in the person's heart. Now, who does the hard work? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, God's mighty helper, he does the hard work. He enters into that person's heart and helps that seed to grow so that they cannot stay small. Now, all of a sudden, they are going to be big and mighty for the Lord. So that's our job. That's what God was telling, telling us today. Jesus was trying to tell his disciples, you got to be at work in the kingdom of God, throwing out the seeds. we got to spread the seeds. And how do we do that? By our actions, loving people, by our words of kindness. That's how we do it. And when we do it, too, they will come to know Jesus the way we know Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? To that we can say amen. Let's fold our hands for a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Help us, help us to spread the seeds of your mercy. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we can go back to our seats, and we are going to sing our next hymn, God Moves in a Mysterious Way. 